Previously on the Jackson Sir. We met the horrific Mr. Hines and was assigned a new challenge. There is a man who has something I want. His name is Robble and I want you to, to steal it from me. We are being watched by the intimidating Big Tin Tim. This man is massive. Bald head, white ashen skin, black tattoos just running all over him. Who really? Wasn't that scary? Hi! I was not expecting that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a long and tiresome day, so we had an old fashioned sleepover. Right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. And this is where we join our protagonists today. Rise and shine. Their sleep does find you. Some better than others, the nightlight is really annoying. But you manage to fall asleep and you wake up in the morning to the smell of. Can I? Yeah. Cheese, eggs, and ham. And you see uh, Big Tin Tin in this little small frilly apron cooking breakfast. Oh, good morning, guys. Breakfast is pretty much ready. Sets up a plate at his small uh, little table. Begin. Today we need to get some work done. What kind of crockery does he have? Oh, uh. <laughs> surprisingly fancy. Okay. Like, you, you've gotten to know him. He, he's a big guy. He's very kind, but he has a lot of. He's got artwork, he's got way too many clothes for someone his size. And, you know, he's got the, the kind of dainty looking, you know, the Dutch blue uh, plates? I think I have a vague idea what you mean. But very fancy, delicate plates. Do yeah. I notice that it's Dutch? It's not Dutch, but that was the closest comparison to no, the real life. No, but I'm trying to think like, if that's going to resemble like a little bit about his past or maybe... Uh, roll a history check. I have no idea where he's from. Plus three, so 16. 16. Um, these plates are typically made in a pottery in the capital of this land called uh, Riverford. It's pretty far south from here, yeah. like a couple of days ride. Doesn't say anything about it. No, not really. Uh, but you know that these are where the plates are found and you know that they are pretty expensive as well. Well, I guess I eat my breakfast. Yeah, that's a hearty, pretty good breakfast. Uh, Nemo is gonna practice his mage hand and eat the breakfast with the mage hand. All right, roll me a sleight of hand. Ah, natural 20. Do you see Nemo kind of like feet up, lying on a divane sofa, like the palm leaf and someone feeding you? It's kind of that, but with a like kind of opaque hand. He's floating with a spoon of scrambled eggs. You guys have played Super Smash Brothers Brawl? Yeah. Uh, the hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much I that. I always yeah. imagine Mage Hand as the master hand, actually. Yeah. <laughs> So that's two natural ones and a natural 20 from you. <laughs> I'm going to take the cheese that I've been sleeping on all night and cut it into blocks. Yep. Eat some of it and put some of it in my bag. Yep. So now I some. Slightly less than a quarter of a big cheese wheel. Some blocks of cheese and some crumbs. Actually, I'm going to prepare quite a lot of blocks of cheese. All right. How much of the cheese wheel are you using up? Maybe another half, so I'm going to cut 50 cubes of cheese. Yep. That's probably like half the wheel, right? Yeah, about half the wheel. With the size of the wheel, those pieces are kind of big as well. Cool, so now I have 10 California rolls and 50 yeah. cheese. The well, California rolls are starting to smell a bit. Yeah, I was going to say, they're probably bad put... California rolls at this point. I didn't put them in the fridge when I got in. Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah, so they're, they've gone they're bad. Pretty, they're pretty grody. Okay. Big Tim Tim, after you guys finish it, because he starts you know, cleaning up and puts it all in this little sink. And... So, um, we need to get the invitation, and we need to get uh, me to security again. Yeah? How uh, do we do that? All of us start yet, so we should go check the place out and see if we can sneak you into the crew in that way. Yeah, we've got all day, why don't we just like go to museums and shop and have some fun? Roll a persuasion. <laughs> Roll of persuasion. <laughs> 16. Big Tim goes, yeah, we have a bit of a time. What kind of museums do you want to go to? I think uh, he would be very interested in the National Art Museum. Uh, We're in uh, Strandholm, which is full of magic. So yes. Of sage, wonderful goodness. Yes. You do know that there is a art museum close to the docks. You also have the Civil Peak Towers, which is the big library slash academy. They've got some really, really good tomes. You do know that you need a handler to study the archives. There's also like a smattering of museums because it is a pretty big city. I mean, Silver Peak Towers is very close to where we used to work, so... Yeah, it's fine. Let's go Silver Peak Towers, I think. Okay. Do you know someone there? Should we just try to hire uh, someone to walk us through? Hire a guide. 
Okay. Starts walking off to Silver Peaks. <laughs> He's robbing the poor guy blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> poor guy, poor Tim. After a bit of walk, you approach this massive silvery tower. That is the Silver Peak. There's a bunch of students just lazing around. It's a pretty nice day, so people are usually kind of sitting in the parks around studying. You see some directing small floating ships in kind of like a RC a model ship battle in the air where they just go around and fight broadsides. There is a bunch of wizards in different robes sitting smoking pipes and blowing funny shapes. And it's kind of like the stereotypical American college from teen films. Yeah. You see someone throwing like answers, floating discs, like discuses. <laughs> someone beating up a nerd. Like... Yeah. <laughs> no, they're all nerds, so they're beating up a jock. <laughs> Why are you bullying me? You see a bunch of wizards <laughs> making fun of a fighter. You walk up to the main office area, and the woman behind the desk say that. Good afternoon. We can offer you a guide to help you browse through our archives. That is going to be five gold per hour. Would you like to pay now and choose the amount of time you wish to stay in the archives, or do you wish to browse at your own speed? I say we just walk through the entrance. Okay, we will start you off at the down payment of five gold. We'll keep track of how long you've been in. The handler for you fellas this afternoon will be Aspirin Rumpstone. She kind of rings a little bell and this tiny, tiny, tiny elderly man with a big kind of pussy mustache and guy pointed at hat, very stereotypical mage gnome. Monopoly man. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Monopoly man with a dunce hat. Yeah. He just walks up and he carries himself like he's as big as Big Tin Tim, but he's small, like a gnome. Do we recognize him from our job? Roll a history. You do recognize him. He's been in once or twice before. Yeah. Always kind of boasts for us, drinks a bit too much. <laughs> My name is Aspirant Rumpstump. I will guide you through the archives today. And he's kind of like this, up to your knees. I uh, make sure there's distance between Big Tim Tin and him, because Big Tim yeah. Tim would just step on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just say, hang back, Big Tim. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. So uh, what are you looking for in the archives today? The bathroom. You got here. I had a lot of cheese this morning. Okay. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm lactose intolerant, so we really shouldn't have <laughs> eaten all that cheese. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, they just face palming at this point. <laughs> well, there is a bathroom here in the lobby. You can take that one. Points over to. Ooh, I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> take a small break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. Oh. So I come out of the bathroom and it stinks in there. I dropped a lot of shit. Yep. And I didn't wash my hands. <laughs> so you see it's a runny shit sounding like my fingernails. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> a rough uh, perception. And as I come out, I have been holding my breath the whole time, so I had a, <laughs> had a big, oh shit. That's 18. Yeah, that's you, know, you know there's the <laughs> little shit on, underneath his fingernails. Rump Stump, who's been idly waiting. He's, right, so, we're perusing the archives. What are you guys looking for in the manner of uh, research? Will they have blueprints of buildings? They probably have. It is the collective archive of this city. Well, we're looking for a blueprint for a house. So roll an investigation with advantage. Uh, investigation. Yes. So that's a total of six. So nice. With advantage. Right, 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 right. Um, I could probably help you with that. You spend two hours looking for the city plans, and Rumsam is just on the way. I swear it was over here. And you get sidetracked to different shelves and sections, but you found, found no city plans, sadly. It is now getting closer to lunch. You see a big Tim Tim is gonna board. Do I find any children's books there? <laughs> Roll another investigation. 
I do not. <laughs> you do not find any children's books. Why am I rolling all the natural ones today? I swear this never happens to me. You know, I usually find the books I'm looking for straight away. Then ask him what books he likes to read. Well, uh, I do mostly study. I uh, read my uh, my thesis. It's a very interesting thesis, and he gets into a thesis. <laughs> thesis. <laughs> uh, thesis, and he goes into a long-winded discussion on the magical application of height growers. He explains some ex extensions for gnomes to make them be able to reach things that are quite far up and it takes another hour, hour and a half just explaining this very dull theory that you can make magically artificial height extensions. We will get out of here though. This is boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, we're, I, think, I think we got what we needed. <laughs> I think Tim's going to fall asleep. Yeah, he is. He is falling asleep on the table. Such has grown. No, I've grown fond of the guy. I don't want to leave him behind. <laughs> and in conclusion, that means that if you have the magical grabby thingy, even gnomes can grab things that are very far up. Nimbo's going to summon his mage hand and pat him on the head. Who I'm having? Brum stuff. Uh, I'm going to go over to Big Tim yeah. and uh, kind of slap him awake. And as I slap him awake, a bit of shit sticks to his face. <laughs> I thought he said you grew from the pin. I do. <laughs> I'm messy. It's not my fault. Yeah. Uh, oh, kid. Are we going? He looks at his kind of tab. Oh yeah, the the thing. It's it's like three hours off. I guess we're skipping lunch. Yeah. I hand you guys like a California roll each. By this point, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's not, almost, almost yeah. in it. Tim looks at you um, thanks, but no thanks. Okay. You can have it back. Nemo is going to save it for later. Right. So you now have nine grody California rolls. Yes. <laughs> As you pass the woman behind goes, I hope you enjoyed yourselves in our archives. The price of your visit will be 15 gold for the three hours spent. We both look at Big Tim Tim. <laughs> yeah. At the same time. <laughs> Roll of persuasion. I'm a dude, <laughs> This is on you, boy. <laughs> That's a nine, um, which isn't enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Pokes out his little wallet, pays the one. Uh, before we leave, I uh, take a California roll, stuff it in the tip jar they have on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> We're so <Yeah>. chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to do it stealthily or are you just pop it in the I don't really care if people look at yeah, So you just pop it in the room this. Oh! Uh, thanks? I can tell that she's kind of holding back some sort of like rage. I can feel that she's going yeah. to tell her friends later on. Yeah, she's, you can tell like her sewing circle is going to hear some shit later Maybe tonight. Maybe she's going to tell it on a podcast. I can, I can, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna look at it and say like, what, you've never seen culture before? And then I just swing my cape and then just stop. <laughs> Are we in suits? Wait, you're wearing a cape with your suit? Yeah. Okay. I imagine it's kind of like the Sherlock Holmes kind of capes that just go to here. <laughs> <laughs> like a bridal gown. Yeah. <laughs> so the city is yours. Cool. We should probably go and check out the... Yeah, try to infiltrate Tim into the staff. Yeah. Yeah. Using your innate knowledge of the city, you manage to find the Uppery district and after a while you to a kind of black iron fence with the, the initials A and B on it. And it's kind of a simple log. I didn't think of that. <laughs> go on Google and see their finances. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it's a very, very fancy fence, and behind this fence is an even fancier house. It's two stories, white marble pillars. It's very, very nice looking. Nemo's gonna shout through the fence like, We got your security guy here! Alright, uh, what role would that be? Yeah! That's 15 plus 3. 17. Um, one of the guards had kind of been controlling the whole stuff. Oh uh, yeah, the new guy. Yeah, come on in, eh? He sounds exactly like Tim. <laughs> Tim. Tim is more. Uh, Tim is more like this. Tim good. I'll see you like guys later tonight. Get the invitations and don't run off. Well, I guess I'm wearing my suit now. The event is still like two hours away. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can find someone that had ball bearings on them. Ball bearings. Yes, ball bearings. Uh, like, Roll a... Going through the city to see if someone is catching ball bearings. 
it will take you some time if you're like wandering through the city. I mean, um, close by mostly. Just try to. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll an investigation. <laughs> Just looking around, you actually see someone from your kind of street urchin days. You used to run pickpocketing schemes with him way back when. This is a goblin, actually, by the name of Ratsy. He is very fond of the old slip and fall, where uh, he would throw ball bearings under his own feet to make himself slip in front of characters and sue them for insurance money. You can see he's like preparing to go in front of the cart. And it's like, oh! Causes a big scene. I guess I'm gonna like sneak up and try to swipe some ball bearings off him. Is that stealth plus sleight of hand? <laughs> that would be a stealth plus sleight of hand. He's also kind of attracting a big audience now that he's. Lying there, writhing on the floor. Oh. 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 Do I get advantage because he's doing other oh. stuff at the same time? I would say disadvantage because of the loss of eyes on it. Oh. So on the stealth, that's a 10. <laughs> a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah. That's oh. a 1. <laughs> Okay. You rolled the one. Oh, so that's a five on stealth. That's still a failure. Yeah. yeah, and then on the side of hand, that's a uh, thirteen. So you see Nebel going. You, you see him starting to stalk off to this big scene. You see this goblin on the ground, kind of crawling around, tossing and turning in the As guys' I go up carriage. To him, can I kind of do that? Oh, are you all? You rolled the one. Yeah, on the stealth. So I. Know so you I'm walk up and go. Hi, Rat Tail. Nice to meet you. And he goes. Can I do a performance be like, oh, are you alright? Like trying to help? That one kind of fucked uh, up. People yeah, know you're there. Enough. He knows that you're there. You know this guy before he's in the middle of his kind of deal. But he's wearing a suit now still. So you don't look you don't look like you know who he is. Yeah. It's gonna draw some eyes, right? Yeah. yeah. The guy who was in the coach goes, A friend! He came out of nowhere. I couldn't stop him. Well that's on you. I was just at the right time at this right place so I'm a witness in this case right sure I mean do you want to settle it now or do you and want the to the ra goes again. yes you should you should pay more attention when you're driving your cart yeah I was just strained through my how many people are in the cart uh, it's just a guy that was driving but but there's a few people around looking I'm gonna guys. look around and see if any of them look like they're about to go to the pool uh, roll of persuasion uh, perception sorry. <laughs> persuasion <laughs> eight eight you don't see anyone looking quite bally, uh, <laughs> except may maybe the guy in the cart, but maybe, maybe not. I'll tell you what, I'll hand you some gold and we can pretend like nothing ever happened. And he hands you five gold and rat tail five gold as well. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm late for a thing. I'm so into his carriage. Did I manage to uh, swipe the ball pairings from You rat did tail? not. I did not. But you see you rather. Evil, that ye cuddly old bastard. You almost fucked this entire thing up. I saved your ass. I was doing a scam. Yeah, I know. We've done it multiple times. Yeah, so why did you come up to fuck it up? Because you were fucking it up. You're in the wrong district to do this. I was not. I, this I, is... Why wouldn't that help you? You would have... The guards would have taken you away. You know how they don't like goblins. Well, that is true, I guess. So I saved your ass. Roll uh, persuasion. I see him talking to a goblin and I pretend like I don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like browsing a window at this point. Yeah. Storefront. I don't understand why I always try to do deception because I'm better at persuasion. Uh, 17 plus 5. Yes. Uh, you guess I could have used the help. What can I do for you, you bloody old bastard? So we're planning a heist. Heist? Yeah. Well, this is good. Do you need someone? I need ball bearings. That's all. Well, my friend. If I need if I need someone uh, from to cause a diversion, I know where to find you. But for this, I I don't think a goblin would do well. You better know that I would never work with a goblin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not in earshot, but I would never work with a yeah. goblin. So. Oh come on, buddy. All time's sake. You gotta leave me out of this one. You know what? Um, since uh, I was lucky to get a little bit, so how about? I get the ball bearings, get a gold, and we call it a day. A gold? Yeah. Plan your heist here, in the big shot town, or the town. Yeah. And you're giving me a gold. Yeah. Roll of I mean, I could just not have you in. 
telling you what. You give me 20 gold. And I'll give you my back of ball bag. Or I rat you out to the gods. Or I rat you out to the gods. For what? For trying to steal you. You're planning a heist. Yeah, but you don't know where I'm planning the heist. That is true. But would you really rat me out? We're old friends. Yeah, that's why I'm at least being nice and offering you the gold. Roll on the persuasion. You should sweeten the deal with uh, California. <laughs> <laughs> you would probably love them. Yeah. Uh, 19. Do you make a good point, Abel. Those picks up a ball bearing. One ball bearing, one gold. You know the store is down the street. I could get a bag for less. A fucking bag. I gave him the gold. I take the bag of ball bearings. I would say it was a pleasure doing business with you, Nemo, but you're right up cunt. I know. And he starts walking off in the half. I go up to the and say, who's a hunched over cunt? How do you know him? You're better off not knowing. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs>